Would you say most of your paintings are like a representation of your life or just maybe just uh, your childhood? Because I see a lot of, I see Simba, yeah. uh, I see Mickey, yeah. you know, so uh, I'm getting the, you know, you know, this is, this is just me uh, expressing my inner childhood or expressing, expressing, like how, what, how, what or your painting a representation of? Is it a representation of you or? Is it something deeper, basically, I'm asking? It's, it, it depends what I'm feeling in the moment. Because yeah. I've had paintings where it has nothing to do with, with like a cartoon or, or anything like that. It's just pure emotion and what I'm feeling and I'm trying to, to let these emotions go onto a painting. And that's more of like what, what I'm going through, what, I, what I'm portraying that's going on in my life. Uh, but these paintings that I do use, these cartoons, it's, it's like my childhood and, and part, parts of me mm -hmm. and uh, things that I liked growing up and that inspired me to, to do art. Okay. Uh, I, of course, uh, some of your artwork, uh, like I said, some of your artwork express your uh, childhood a little bit, um, but I also saw some of your artwork, uh, some of them were mostly focused with on hands like yeah i remember you telling me uh the reason that you uh draw those hands you mind sharing that of course um so i'm hispanic as i said earlier uh so the hispanic culture we talk a lot with our hands um and hands is really important when you look at body language and how you're trying to express something that you're trying to say mm -hmm. um it makes a big difference so i try to capture that emotion mm -hmm. of of the body language of the hands in these paintings using colors and strokes at the same time to kind of convey the feeling that I was experiencing or that I've experienced in my life mm -hmm. in those paintings. 